Hi friends, let's make this delicious chicken yakhni recipe that is sure to please everyone in your house. It is especially good for postpartum, it helps moms recover after they give birth, and it's also very good for kids or adults when they're sick. It will give you lots of energy and boost your immune system, so let's get started. I'm making this yakhni with chicken drumsticks. You can choose any meat you like. I've taken about 6 drumstick pieces and I usually add double the amount of water. So 6 pieces would need 12 cups of water. 12 cups of water is approximately this one big pot of mine, so I filled it completely with water. Then I added one chicken cube. I use Knorr brand and you can use whatever you have available. Add 1 8 teaspoon of turmeric, half teaspoon of zira or cumin seeds and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Adjust the salt according to your preference. Keep in mind the chicken cube will also be salted. Then turn your heat to high and let the water boil as much as possible. The longer you let the water boil, the flavor will be richer. Then we want to take one onion and slice it into thin pieces. Um, this is going to be for, you can call it talka, I guess, after once the chicken cooks. But I'm just going to cut the onion uh, very thinly and set it aside. I love this yakhni recipe because you can use it for many things. I give it to my kids and husband when they're sick and it really boosts their energy. You will feel a major difference after eating this. And you can use the yakhni for pulao or other rice recipes as well. I also like to add a little bit of yakhni to my daughter's baby food so she can get these nutrients. I let the water boil for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I will add my chicken. Uh, the chicken drumsticks are without any skin and once I've added the chicken, I let it boil for a good 20 to 25 or 30 minutes until the chicken is fully cooked and uh, more of the flavor is developed. I also lower the heat to about medium midway so the chicken can cook slowly. While the chicken is cooking, you can grab another pan and add about 2 tablespoons of ghee. Now make sure to take ghee because it will enhance the taste and it will give you more energy. Let that melt and coat your pan. And once that's done, we are going to add in the onions that we had cut earlier. Now I had cut the onions thinly like into fine slices and we don't want to fry them until they're brown. We just want to fry the onions until they are translucent. My chicken is fully cooked by this point and then I remove it from the yakhni and add it to this pan and the goal here is to lightly brown the chicken. It will get a nice color and it will also absorb the ghee and onion flavor. Once your chicken is nice and browned, this is your chance to taste test your yakhni and check for salt levels. I checked my yakhni and the salt was good. You can adjust it according to your preference. And then finally, we add that uh, yakhni broth into the pan. Mix it nicely and then cover for a low, on a low simmer for about 5 minutes. And now it's ready to serve. So you can make naan on the side, serve it with that, or you can have it with bread. Um, or even for little kids, you can add boiled pasta. So you can have like a noodle soup. And either way, in any form, it is absolutely delicious. Make sure if you're serving it as is, just sprinkle a little bit of black pepper on top and enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
With any leftover yakhni, personally, I like to strain the broth and remove the onions, and then you can store it in the fridge and you can use it in other recipes. For example, you can use it in rice, like pulao, you can use it in pasta, you can use it, you can even use it in curries to make the curry base. In any way, shape, and form, it will be absolutely delicious. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more.